what's up, beautiful people? It's Indarama. Welcome to the channel. So, they will have the very interesting video from the office at Asia Man Sky Schools White College Student Youth Program is under a meaning called White Student. Hmm. Also, I'm excited to check this one out. Let's check it out. I, I grew up as a white man and you're, you're the exact opposite, you know? And so, it's like my experiences are going to be different from yours. How come? I think, uh, you know, there is a thing of like white privilege. Uh, what privileges do you have that I don't have? Oh, wow, you're getting me good. Well, that was fast. <laughs> this video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com, ladies and gentlemen, we have an exclusive discount on this particular jacket. We have the black version, the red version, and also this gray a jacket premium jacket i'm making premium merch um huh. specifically for the tatum brand line so if you go on right now you can see it it has this embroidered tatum right here for the signature tatum brand and then also a leather patch i'm telling you guys i've tested this in the wash and dryer dry clean this jacket this is a real leather patch here if you dry it it's going to have the, the leather is going to fold around the edges so dry clean this jacket when you get it it is a premium jacket great material on the inside pockets on the inside zip up pockets on the side hmm. this is probably the coldest jacket you're going to be able to buy on the market in my personal opinion for only 95 dollars. but for the time being we're having a discount 30 percent off if you put in jacket 30 you'll get 30 percent off this jacket do it now because we don't have a lot of jackets left and so jacket 30 gets you 30 percent off this jacket like and subscribe to this channel Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live or make a video. Make sure you still subscribe, like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the quickest uh, uh, and most effective way to end the discussion on white privilege. This is this is it. You don't need to talk about it. No, you ain't to argue with nobody. There's no person that can overcome this beatdown and proving why white privilege is, is a complete myth, in my opinion. Now, shout out to the young lady, Sav. I think her name is Sav with one N. Sav with one N. Her, her link is right here. Uh, the right wing oh, angel, yeah. Oliver Mack. Shout out to Oliver Mack for putting out all the good content. I like reviewing the stuff that he put out there. So, with that being said, let's watch this clip. The obliteration of the term white privilege in under one minute. Wrote a clip. A white man and... You're the exact opposite, you know, and so it's like my experiences are going to be different from yours. How come? I think, uh, you know, there is a thing of like white privilege. Uh, what privileges do you have that I don't have? Exactly. Oh, see, that's the question I keep asking myself because like in this day and age, like all the laws, I say all the laws, you know, I'm, it's hard to speak on something I'm not fully knowledgeable of. So like, I'm sorry if I like make a mistake uh, in saying this, but it's like, like, uh, hmm. Do you mm. think it's a problem in society when white people think that they have more privileges than brown or black people? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that's sort of the agenda that's pushed off because personally, it's like, not that I think I'm more privileged than anyone else because I had to work to get where I was. And that's Thank like, you. Yeah. why do you have that mentality immediately where you, you know, kind of apologize to me? Like, let's talk about privilege. Let's talk about I'm a white man in America, so we could have grown up differently. Got you. Why, why is that your first initial reaction to me as a brown woman? Wow, you're getting me good. See, these are the kind of conversations that I love having. Um, and I think it comes from a place of like, uh, I wouldn't say caution, but like in this day and age, people are so quick to judge and react and cancel. And so I guess it's that, that like caution to go into an interview like this. I'm like, I, I don't know where we're at, but now I know where we're at and I can like uh, go for real. I. I <laughs> Now, let me say this, because I shout out to this young man in no way, form, or fashion am I, you know, bashing him or, or making him look, because I felt like he was incredibly honest, yeah. and I know exactly where he's coming from. Yes. You can't, you got to watch what you do, depending on what interview, because he see a brown girl, and he think it's woke. So, he got to he got to follow the wokeness. Mm -hmm. And I argue, I would argue that most people in our generation don't believe this stuff and they know it's bull crap but they have to follow the woke they have to they have to follow a lockstep or people will counsel them and get mad at them and call them a racist but listen white privilege is is, is a made-up term that people find that they can gain leverage by expounding or, or, or expressing they can gain leverage politically 
and they can gain leverage emotionally. Mm-hmm. Because if they were to say, there's a there's this proverbial white privilege, therefore it absolves you of any of your failures. If you're a black person in America and you failing and you, you ain't getting a good job and you you failing at life, you sucking at life, you don't need to look in the mirror. Because there ain't nothing you can fix on your own. It's the white man. It's white privilege. The reason you don't have what your neighbor has is because you black and they white. It ain't because they work way harder than you. And that they stayed out of trouble. They're not in the criminal justice system. They haven't had kids out of wedlock. They got married. They got an education. None of that matters. Mm-hmm. It's just because they're white and you black. This, this, this I, I wish that people would understand that this is a tool and mechanism that the left does yes. in order to keep us separated so they can pick us apart. Yes. They want sure. the black man to not talk to the white man. They don't want you to partner with him because if you partner with him, y'all will realize that they the problem. Y'all will realize that they're the ones push Jim Crow. Yeah. The government enforced Jim Crow. Encroached on people and enforcing the law that I would argue that people really may, may or may not even want it to be in place. The government was responsible. Just like you look at the Democrat Party and people, it's funny to me that like educated black folks support the Democrat Party. Now, if you're not educated, I get it. You can get tricked emotionally. <laughs> but if you're educated, Democrat Party was the party of slavery. Do we, do we not forget that? The 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment, the freedom of slaves, the right to vote or, or the citizenship and then the right to vote were all unanimously voted on by Republicans. Democrats were not unanimously in favor of it. Civil Rights Act, Democrats were not unanimously in favor of it. It was the Republicans. And I don't understand why people are falling short on this. The filibuster, I think it was the longest filibuster in history, was against the Civil Rights Act by the Democrats. And then they say the party switched. No, they didn't. What you mean they switched? You mean there was a light switch that went boop, boop, and then they all of a sudden people woke up and like, now I'm a, I'm a Democrat now. I'm a Republican now. That's not how they, they making up stuff. The Dixiecrats, two people, one in the Senate, one in the House, switched parties. That was the only Republicans that switched to Democrats or Democrats that switched to Republicans. They were racist. Only two people. That was the big switch. No, it's not. Go look at the worst cities to live in as a black person in America, all run by Democrat. It's the same suit warmed over. They were, in, they were enthralled in slavery. They were the reason slaves existed in America. Republicans were against slavery. Then you go down the list, you say Jim Crow. Democrats were for Jim Crow in the Jim Crow South. Democrats. And then you go to the day, you say the worst cities and, and the conditions that black people are complaining about being in, you keep voting for Democrats. And Democrats are running your cities. Your education system is not as good. The Democrat is running your city, not the Republicans. But, but you know, that's just me. I'm glad that Savvy destroyed the argument, not the person, but the argument. Because there's no legitimate argument for white supremacy in the United States of America. There is no white supremacy. White people have to get up off that and work too. My wife didn't have no privilege. Matter of fact, I had more privilege than she did. I had a full scholarship. She had to pay for her, her school. Her parents didn't just have a silver spoon handed to them. Her father's a police officer. Worked hard his whole life. In law enforcement like I'm in law enforcement. He's the first responder like my dad. My dad was a firefighter. Still is. Ain't nobody got nothing handed to him just because you white, just because you black. If you ask me, I'm going to be honest. I think there's a privilege of being black in America today. Now everybody's scared to say nothing about you. And if you go on a job, they'll hire you because you, you're black. Come on, man. All right, I'll see y'all on the next one. Get you one of these jackets. I'm out. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, I put out three videos a day. So make sure you go to the uh, playlist that says new video and watch more videos. Subscribe to this channel. Let's go, baby.
I've got it more than this other person, which don't make sense to me, should ask me. Because white people also struggle. They also go to work. They, like, not all of them have silver spoon hand, handed over to them. And thank you, Brandina, for breaking this down. Because lots of people just want to go with a norm narrative that society has placed to be like, oh, it is the norm. Yes. And make the black people feel less of themselves because of the fact that society is making it seem like, oh, you're not privileged enough you're, you're, because you're black, you're, you're not going to get a good job, which does not make sense to me because if you're, whether you're black or, or white or purple, you got the, you went to school, you got a good degree, and you got the skills, go for the job interview.